You guys, it's Danny. Today I am so excited, so excited because I have in my hands the Sassy Dragons Tarot. You guys, this is the most adorable. I absolutely love this deck. Okay, so hold on. I feel like I had a little bit of reverberation there. Hopefully I got that fixed. Okay, so... Since my artistic nudity got dinged uh, on a member's video, um, we're not going to use the NSFW one today. <laughs> but just know, this is my favorite. Um, I'm obsessed. Okay. If you want to see everything... I'm going to link Lisa's video down below and then there's probably going to be some more people that you can see everything with. But today I really wanted to play with this deck because it's just so much fun. And I thought that finding kind of like a self, uh, self help, self growth, um, kind of spread would be really fun to do with a sassy dragons, kind of like a little kick in the butt. What do I need? So I was on Pinterest and I found a self-growth tarot spread by Labyrinthos, which I love. I love their stuff. Um, but it's a really great 10 card spread, um, for self-growth and development. So this is what it is. Um, your past self, your current self, your highest self, what blocks your potential, family matters, personal issues, conscious, um, desire, lesson, advice. So I thought, what better than Sassy Dragons to really give a really good kind of self-growth pep talk, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to shuffle and pull cards and read this spread and uh, just have fun with Sassy Dragons today. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to put the link um, down below to get sassy dragons on kickstarter it has been funded i'm so excited okay so um i'll have that link down below and then i will also put a link to the spread down below as well if you guys want to do it or if you want to follow along so let's go ahead and turn this to the table and get started so let's go ahead and get started so here's our little sassy dragons so cute. This is by Peggy, supervised by Lisa, illustrated by Andrew and Christopher. I love this. They, Andrew and Christopher also did the little cryptid oracle and they have the phantasm Lenormand and I just, I love their art style, but can we just, y'all, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Look at the little cave. Oh my God. It's so cute. These are the backs. I just have to gush about this for a second. It is the most adorable, you guys. The most adorable. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's go ahead and start shuffling. I may have to go up or down. We're doing bare table today. You can see I've like legit burnt a ring <laughs> with a cauldron um, on this desk and I have paint all over, but whatever. We're gonna vibe anyway. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Now these are prototypes. So there are gonna be a couple of changes, but for the most part, this is an amazing version. Okay. So we're gonna lay it out and then I'll have to see if we need to adjust because like there's, again, there's like 10 cards, but this is a good size because it is, let me show you. Uh, what do I have around here that's tarot sized? Oh, wait, I have Mystic Masters up here. Look. Size comparison. So this is great for bigger spreads because look. Watch, let me turn Mystic Masters over because it's darker. You see, we got quite a bit of space. So 
and that is really good for bigger spreads. I like a smaller deck for bigger spreads. All right, let's cut. And lay out. I'm gonna do these upright and then So let's back out. Oh, oh, long way. Back out. Come here. All right. Okay. So, well, listen, we're going to see my mic. So, oh, well. <laughs> okay. I mean, look at, look at this, you guys. Look how cute this is. I love the colors. I absolutely love the colors. Okay, so let's start with number one. So your past self, the 10 of pentacles. How cute. So it says, live the dream that you built. Take comfort in the abundance and security of your resources. So your past self seems to have done a pretty good job of setting you up for success, right? Looks like you're in a really good place. So let's go on to your current self, which is the Six of Cups. So this says, yesterday was cool. Tomorrow will be awesome. Cherish the past, but stay connected to the present. So I feel like with the current self, it's like we need to draw from where you've come from in order to be where we need to be today, right? Draw from the past, but don't try to go back there. We need to try to bring those things into the present and live in a more kind of grounded way right now. Okay, so number three is the highest self. So that's going to be under this. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yo, he's so cute. Knight of Pentacles says it's not a race. Consistency and steady progress are more important than speed. So this, again, we talked about grounding. This is really solidifying that. The higher self says right now is the time for grounding. Slow, steady, taking stock of where you are and where you want to go so that you can plan out in a very stable way how to move forward. So in that, what blocks our potential was here, which is judgment. Look at them in the little boxes. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. Okay, judgment. Game over? Nah, just leveling up. You're being called to evolve. Whether or not you answer is up to you. So I feel like what blocks your potential is like kind of your own decisions. Are you going to choose to do what you know to be right? Or do you want to stay where it's easy, right? Do you want to evolve or not? You have to make that decision. Ultimately, you are the only one blocking your way. I feel like it calls a lot for authenticity, right? When judgment comes up, uh, coming right after the sun, I feel like it just really fits those vibes. It's like you were asked to be authentic. Now, are you going to evolve that way? And so I feel like that's a very powerful thing, especially when talking about a block, right? Like you are your own block. It's so true in so many ways, right? Okay, so let's go on to the next one. So that is going to be number five. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up my stuff. Number five, which is family patterns. Oh, we have the moon. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have the moon and it says, take a walk on the wild side. Explore the unknown. You never know what you'll uncover. Family patterns, it sounds like 
digging into family patterns might answer a lot of your questions, things that seem to be right outside your reach, right? Like, what is this that's like bothering me? What is it that's causing me to go after cycles, right? Um, what what are those things? And maybe digging into those family patterns, really finding out and exploring the things that maybe you've never asked before or you never thought to look into. I I did a lot of that stuff. Um, even recently, like I have my, I got two different DNA results. I got, you know, digging into um, the past and, and where people are coming from and what they did. And, you know, like kind of learning these things about um, myself, my family, Stuff gets uncovered all the time. I feel like the more we dig into this and the more we ask, the more truth that we find. And that can always kind of put us in a better place when we realize that some of these things are generational patterns, right? Or some of these things, it's like we uncover why people are the way that they are. I think that's a big thing. We see our family, especially in one way. And once we start digging and start understanding the past, who they are, who the people were around them, like truthfully, uh, we start to uncover these things and kind of, I don't know, it, it's a potential for us to grow by learning where other people are coming from. So I really love that. Okay. On to number six, which is personal personal issues. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. He says, do the thing. You've got what it takes to overcome any challenge you face. Hmm. I think that's a lot of self-doubt, right? Personal issues with self-doubt, self-worth, things like that, it often puts a halt to what we're doing. But right here, it's definitely a reminder that no, 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 you got this. You can push through. You can do hard things. So we have uh, that kind of fire behind us. So that's kind of how I read that one. Okay, sip of coffee. coffee and now and on to conscience. So we have the two of swords, oh, the moon, the little sun and moon are the dragons, and I'm just so obsessed with it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, two of swords. Not choosing is still a choice. Trust your intuition to lead you through uncertainty. So again, maybe like trusting yourself, knowing those gut instincts, making those decisions when you need to. Again, we're talking, you know, with that fire, even when it's hard, follow your gut, trust your instinct. And know that not choosing, again, like it says, is still a choice. It's a choice of stagnation, especially when talking, you know, in, in this kind of sense. This is a choice to remain stagnant. And I feel like we have to remember that, right? We have to remember that it's not just yes or no. It's yes, no, or do nothing, right? So that's a really... A really good one for this okay up next is desire oh gosh we have the nine of swords you guys the one in the nsfw my favorite <laughs> nine of swords feeling anxious flip the script consider what's likely not just worst case scenarios oh considering what's likely i really like how that was put right? Consider what's likely, not just worst case scenarios. Like we tend to, you know, our desires tend to stop us. You know, in the Celtic cross, we have that card where it's hopes and fears. Like your greatest hope and your greatest fear, they're linked, they're tied. So having the desire be the nine of swords, it's like you're the change that you create by doing the things that you want to do, by being your authentic self, by like just conquering and going after your dreams and, and accomplishing things can be the scariest thing because you, you've you never been there before. You don't know how your life is going to change. You want it, but you're also scared of it. So I feel like in your desires, know that it's not a worst case scenario. Sometimes we got to let life life. Anxiety is a liar and it will stop you from doing, being, attracting what you want. And that's really important to remember um, when, when trying to really change 
and trying to get better and trying to grow. Okay, so our lesson. We've gone from the Knight of Wands down here to the Queen, so we have matured in this fire energy. Look our little Minu. Aww. Okay, so the Queen of Wands says, stay sassy. Forget the classy. Confidence is key to your success. To your success. Assert yourself. So your lesson is literally going after what you want. Being confident enough to know that you got what it takes. Being confident in your choices, in your instincts, the way that you choose, what you choose. Love that. Okay, and down to number 10, which is advice. And look at that. We have the Empress. Oh my God, please ignore my nails. They're terrible right now. I'm literally patching <laughs> as they come up. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, Empress, it says, it's time to be your own mommy. Take care of all that is important, including yourself. So again, we talked a lot about doing hard things and staying confident in that, making those tough decisions, knowing that anxiety is lying to you, right? And through all that, we do need to nurture ourselves. We need to make sure that we're caring not only for others, but we are also caring for ourselves, our own needs. We're resting when we need to rest, right? We're doing when we need the movement, we're helping others when our cup is full enough to do so, right? And it's knowing those things and nurturing yourself so that you can continue to grow. So there we have it. Y'all, this is a really great spread. I I don't have a lot of decks. I probably, I don't think I have another deck that actually has the meanings on the cards and is written in this way, especially tarot, right? I... I've had some in the past, but I don't know. This is something completely different, I feel. Uh, because there is a kind of no-nonsense and very blunt way that these are, are written and thought about in the terms of tarot and just having that kind of extra element of sass to it, I don't know. I really feel like this is something extra special because having a reading like this, like, and really using this in that way, it is like a pep talk. I feel like this is the perfect thing to use when you need that something extra. And so I'm, I'm really loving this. I'm loving this. So we saw these. Let's kind of do a quick little flip through of the rest, just so you guys can kind of take a look. We'll kind of zone in here. And we'll just kind of flip through so you guys can see. Okay, so the juice boxes, adorable. So cute. Look at the stained glass. Oh, there's so many little like Easter eggs, things going on in the background. There's so much stuff to see. It's just so much fun, you guys. How adorable is she? Look at that. <laughs> And these do such a great job at kind of, look at the little stuffies. Oh. Look at that. And it does such a great job of really kind of having a, an expressive RWS, right? Because it does follow the RWS. It kind of mimics um, what we see there in the most adorable way. But definitely adds that extra spice. I always love a good three of cups. So cute. I'm pretty sure it's focusing over here. Look at these. <laughs> He's glowing. 
I'm just obsessed with this artwork. You guys, it's Shayla and Bruno and Lisa and Peggy. <laughs> oh my God. I love this. Mine's bigger than yours. See, look at that. Ah, come on, man. How cute. I just love this whole world that was created. I don't know where it wants to look. I'm sorry, y'all. We're just doing a quick flip through just so you guys can see this. Look. Oh. Six of Wands. <laughs> I love our Queen of Cups. one I don't know I just keep switching on me sorry y'all we got that water in the chariot page of cups And the devil. Oh, and I love the I love the description on the devil. It says it may not be your fault, but it is your problem. Dealing with your baggage is the only way out. Oh, so great. So you guys, like I said, I will have all the links for Sassy Dragons, but I hope you enjoyed playing with this deck with me and uh kind of taking a look at this awesome awesome little deck i would love to know if um if you guys try this spread if you guys are getting sassy dragons um i would love to know all your thoughts um so if you're looking for that or if you're looking for me you will find all the links down below in the description and we will be back very soon i am sending you all my love Mwah! later gators